All right, welcome back to BSTV. This is Bianca. and I'm Steve. Today we are reviewing season one, episode four of Joe Millionaire. Mm, I like that. It was a good one. So the episode basically starts out with uh, all the ladies, the contestants win a ticket to a premiere movie mm -hmm. and they go with Kurt and Steven. And they're all excited because COVID, et cetera. They haven't been in a movie theater in a long time. And they're like, ooh, I wonder what it's going to be. And they were throwing out actors' names. I think it's this new one with this person in it. And lo and behold, what happens? So it was their audition tape that they had done to get onto the show uh, with a bit of a few more interview questions. And it was the girls exposing or explaining what they want in a man and whatnot. And it was good because Steven and Kurt actually got to see or hear which of the girls, what they're into and what they're looking for in a guy. And actually some of them came out like to be gold diggers, obviously. Yeah, because right? I'm, I'm sure they were uh, prompted. prompted in yes, the, in the sure. audition tapes. There's like, probably some manipulation of questions. That, yeah, but they know they're going on know. a show that's called... Prob they might not know it's called Joe Millionaire, but they know the contestants are rich and they're probably like, woo, yeah. yeah. They're all excited. I want a guy who drives a Mercedes, like that one girl. Said. Yeah. Yeah. So after it ends, all the girls get to vote who was the fakest in their audition, or, or I don't know if it was in the auditions or on the show, and who's the realist. So they vote, and it really just comes down to who they don't like as the fake winner. But then the little twist happens that these two girls get like a gold pass or something where they could use it for one hour of time with either of the contestants and steal them from someone. So if someone's on a date, they could be like, nope, taking my hour. Like and they that. haven't used it yet. So this is going to be a story or an event unfolding in future episodes. I like it because it causes a little bit of drama. I mean, there's already a lot of drama, but it just causes a little bit more drama, right? Mm -hmm. So. That's what these shows are all about. And then uh, later on, there's some controversy where one of the contestants apparently Sarah. said a crew member was attractive, right. like like film crew for the show. And then they tell Kurt and Steven and they're like, oh, no, 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 that can't happen. And she gets kicked off. I think they were just kind of gearing up. I think they didn't know who they were going to choose and they didn't really have a connection with Sarah and um, so I think that this was just an easy way out for them to kind of boot her off and, you know, make that decision easy for them. Yeah, I disagree because it wasn't part of the elimination. She was just gone immediately. No, it, no. it was halfway through the show. She was thrown off and no, it wasn't. It wasn't. Yes, it counted as no, a. No, it wasn't. It, it counted as. No, it listen wasn't. to me. I'm right. It counted as a part of the elimination where okay. they didn't have to eliminate someone later, but she was eliminated before the elimination. She was just yanked from the pool no. and told the to, Okay. Okay. Well, why, let me ask why, you. Why were they in the room with all the photos of the girls up? And then the butler comes in and says, oh, I have to tell you guys something. They were getting ready for elimination. They said, Sarah, can you come here? Goodbye. Like, why didn't they just wait and line the girls up and go through the elimination? Because they couldn't wait. So I think something more happened than what they're telling us. He always thinks he's right. I think we're going to find out. He's not right. I'm right. Okay. I don't know about that. but I think you should rewatch the show. I think you should let me tell the audience my thoughts. Can I? No, but it's not your thoughts. You actually think that you're right. It's my thoughts. Okay. Moving on. No, we're not going to move on. So... In past shows like Bachelor, Bachelorette, there's been lots of rumors of contestants hooking up with crew members, film crew members, production members. I think that sort of thing happened here, and that's why she's gone, because it's a no-no. And all, she, all they showed us on tape was she, her saying, oh, he's hot, and he has a COVID mask on. You can't even see what he's like, and then immediately she's out. So I think there's more to it. But maybe I'm wrong. That's just my thoughts. So moving on. Where are we moving on to? Uh, so Caroline who spells her name Carolyn with a Y N. Okay, well anyways, so she tells Kurt, they have a really good first date, and then she tells Kurt, you know, you need to go and date other people, that way when you choose me, you've already tried out all the girls and you know that I'm the best Classic move, you, right? classic. But, and so he does that, and of course she gets jealous, and then she becomes kind of possessive and says, you know, and like, she comes with baggage, so you're not really the best catch. Like, you are pretty, and, you know, you obviously have this attraction to him, and, and he does for you, but you have a baby. You have a boy, and you have a 
ex-husband so yeah ex-husband who he needs to process that that's a lot to take on for somebody especially when they're under these circumstances where they have to date for a short amount of time like give the guy a breather an ex-husband who's very involved still because that was the thing where kurt's like i don't know if i could be with someone who the ex-husband is that involved in her life and the kid's life yeah but that's good it's because they have a kid right yeah but there's more to it like very involved like It was a co they didn't really get into it, but it was a co-parenting situation that Kurt's very uncomfortable with. I'm not sure if they still live together or what is what it is. Because if it's just like exchanging weekends and weekdays like a normal divorce situation would be, I don't see why Kurt would be so upset about it. They didn't really go into it, but he 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 just called it a doesn't probably want a kid. He called it a co parenting situation he wasn't comfortable with. Well, anyways, I guess we'll find out. But she's become very possessive, but I he obviously has a connection with Amanda. Is that her name? The blonde girl? Yes. Yeah. So, and Carolyn is getting jealous about that. But Amanda is silly also. She shouldn't have said to her. They ended up making out and she felt guilty or something. So she felt the need to tell Caroline, which she shouldn't have not felt guilty. Like, it's a free for all, girls. He could date and kiss whoever he wants. He's dating. This is not a monogamy situation, right? So let you guys do your thing and don't feel bad. You don't need to go and tell Caroline that you made out with him. Who cares? She doesn't have the rights to him. Yeah, I don't know if people really feel bad. I think they do it for the drama and they just, they feel like this is going to get rid of my competition. Like I'm, I'm, I'm the dog being on the fire hydrant, marking my territory. I don't know, but I guess we'll find out in the next episode what happens. Yeah, and next episode there's some sort of pool party. What's what's camp. going on? They're camping. camping, camping. Oh, we didn't touch camping upon by Rachel. the pool though, right? We didn't talk about Rachel. Okay, Rachel. I said in the first or second episode on BS TV reviews uh, that Rachel is a loose cannon, and of course that's what happened. She hit her quota because the girls didn't give her an extra shot or something like that in the limo, and they went home, and she started freaking out, and the girls. Everything escalated and one girl said, you know, we're just trying to help you out because you're already really drunk and she got really offended. She packed her bags up and left. So, see ya, Rachel. So, which episode did you say that in? It was After actually, episode was, two? No, I said it, yeah. I want you fact checkers out there, go back through our old videos and see if she said that and then we'll give her props. That Rachel's a loose yeah. cannon? Yeah. Why don't you go and watch it? Because our fact checkers are going to do it. Our audience. Okay. It's growing well, by the day. Anyways, we will let you guys know what happens and what our opinions are. All right. Thanks for tuning five. in. BSTV. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.